On the 22nd uh, uh, October, uh, at two, around louder, two, louder, uh, around two to, two to three o'clock, um, I was uh, accompanied by my father to, from hospital back home. So um, let me tell you before this what happened. I've been staying here for past uh, five years, since year 2007. This Punchak Kinrara in Pucho. It's a Pangsapuri. Eh? So uh, in the beginning, we got no security guard. And after some time, after almost one and a half years, uh, we pushed, because this uh, Pangsapuri was developed by YTL. So we tried to get y from YTL to get have a security guard for us. So YTL refused to have one under. See so what happened on that day, and then the injuries. Ah. So uh, the what happened actually on that this particular okay. day what on day? What date, huh? on the twenty second October at two to three around two to three PM. About PM. PM. Mm. Myself about to go inside my house. Yeah. This security guard here, he uh, refused to let us go in. Yeah, and my father gave him IC. He refused to take my father's IC, and he's uh, asking for license. This is what usually you do when you give license. He'll ask for IC, and when he give you ID card, he asks for. This is how they irritate you always. The reason behind it, he says, I stopped paying my security fee. The reason Ma maintenance fees lah. Ma no, uh, maintenance is YTL. We paid to YTL maintenance. Oh, this, this is security. Security. YTL got nothing to do with this security. When I call YTL, YTL says we, they have never signed any contract with us. This security, just they came there, they just put up a small hut and claim they are security, they are protecting us. And they have forced us to pay. And not only me, some of them refused to pay. Because they, they are not happy with their services there. Previous, previous company, we paid. I got no due at all. Where I used to pay from every month and after this company took over a lot of people this How long ago this company took this over? company only about since last april hmm. he has been pushing us very badly sometimes they use, they use very harsh words sometimes they threaten us they stop our school buses to my uh, van school van bus uh, tuition van from you know, going inside. From right? going inside. From the guard house to your apartment, how far is it? Okay, from my guard house to my house, my apartment, at least about 200 meters. 200 meters and uphill. Lah. Uphill. Uphill. So it. So it's very difficult for my boys if, if it's raining like this to walk up. So they stop them at the guard house, so you have to walk about 200 meters uphill, you know? It, so it's difficult to walk you up. You can right? see my address, Puncha, Kinrara. Puncha, it's Puncha. That's day 10. After that, there's no houses there. It's really Puncha. So each time they, they push us like this, they threaten us like this, they stop, they say, ah, through, at one time, my son went for seminar in UKM, he came back after three days, about two o'clock, same time around uh, on Sunday, he, uh, the one of the security guard, not this guy, another chief, he says, ah, suruh you anak jalan kaki, saya tamu buka pintu ni. And I asked him. High-handed lah, high-handed. Huh? Mm. No, no, no. I, I, anyhow, some or other, I manage each time. I struggle. I, I speak to them, open the post, and then I go inside. But they block. They, they block. block. But the son and all have to walk up. Lah. Son has to walk up. The family has to walk up. Eh? Walk up. Mm. This is what ha happening for fast. No, he, is, he has to argue lah. every time he goes. They block, and then he has to fight with them. Lah. Fight with them, and then they open the thing, and then he has to go in. Lah. Eh? Okay. And um, yesterday, he warned me, he says, from today onwards, they, they're not going to open the post anymore for mm. us. Mm. We have to go and open it by ourselves, and then close it, and then go in. You know, the people, the other, other residents, you know, if they're behind us, they'll make noise. If I stop okay. the car and go, mm. and I'm facing a lot of difficulties. Maybe tell them on the injury, what led to the injury. Okay, this, the moment, on, 22nd, on, yeah? the, on 22nd, when I, my father was confronting with him, myself about to get down from the car. So he thought, I, I, I get down from the car, I want to talk to him. He thought that I'm going to injure yes, him or some, do something to him. He took an iron rod and hit me. Who, he, who hit you? This, this, this boy. Do you, do you know his name? 
I don't know his name mm-hmm. because there's no name. And Why he hit you with the iron rod? Uh, he he says, uh, "You taba ya, you tasa, you taba ini, you taba itu." He put all the blame on me, and he refused. He, he this was how long was the iron rod? It was about one meter. Thick? How thick was it? Uh, about this, exactly. Uh, you know, double the size. This double one. the size uh, of yeah. this. The so this is what uh, I'm going through my whole family in trauma now. Each time I, when, when my kids alone, I don't have peace of mind. I can't concentrate on my work. And my wife going through the same thing. And uh, th- there's no reason for him to hit me. He can talk to me and I already approached to the se- uh, chief security so many times. Ask your chief security to approach us, talk to us. Talk to us how to settle. And yesterday he told me, "Say kita sudah buat laporan kepada polis, kita sudah settle dekat polis. Absol you ambil gambar lagi." Or this security guard company believe doesn't have license. Eh? He believe they have got no license. Uh, I, I I I believe that. Uh, he believe no license. So like it's just a Sundari and Berhad. If you see a Sundari and Berhad company, um, they don't have a license. Uh, that also has to be checked. You know. 